Hey guys, this is your girl Gigi and I am back again. Okay guys, so I know I've not been posting as much as I usually have, you know, usually post in the past and there is a reason for that. So I'm going to explain everything in the video, but how y'all doing? How y'all been? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right guys. So this video is called I survived COVID-19 and you know you're just like well what does she mean yeah guys I unfortunately had COVID-19 and um some of you may know you all may not know um I'm a registered nurse so um you know I did work with um patients that um possibly had it as well as co-workers that could have had it because i worked um you know at facilities taking care of people so that is how um i did get COVID 19 and um you know a lot of people talk about it they're just like okay you know if young people get it then you know they have really mild symptoms and stuff like that that's not always the case my case was i had moderate um symptoms so basically um it wasn't severe enough for me to go to the hospital but i was very sick i had flu-like symptoms i had fever i had um a sore throat i had body aches i had chills um i had gi symptoms i had shortness of breath i was very fatigued and malaise um chest uh, congestion, chest pressure, um, the just the whole, the likes. I had pains in my ribs and my sides. Um, it was a lot, you know? And um, a lot of the times, like when I first got it, you know, I was just like, okay, you know, I gotta, I gotta work with this. I gotta try to figure it out. So I was just like, well, you know, I always felt like I could call, you know, my doctor's office and you know they could give me some medicine i called and the um nurse told me she was like oh well you know um what are your symptoms i told her my symptoms and my main symptom was a cough a nagging cough and i was just like well you know can you guys give me something i need um you know like breathing treatments steroids or anything like that like can i come by you all kind of assess me basically she told me this um, well, that's common and you can get some Mucinex or some Delsum over the counter. And if you feel like it's getting worse, call 911. And I'm just looking like, oh my gosh, like where's the continuity of care? Like you're just dropping the ball, just telling me like this, like not trying to help. So basically like with it, I felt like it was a really like lonely feeling in a sense because it's almost just like, okay, well this thing is so new and you know people are still trying to figure it out figure out like how to fix it and so you know i'm calling to get some help to get some assistance and all you're telling me is like okay go get some cough medicine or call the police if you uh you know call the emergency room call the hospital call the ambulance if um you get sicker so i was left with that so really at that point i was like you know what i have to fix this I have to figure this out, you know, I'm a nurse, you know, I take care of patients. So I was just like, you know what? I'm about to take care of myself like I take care of my patients. So baby, what I did was um, I got me a whole, I created a whole care plan. Just like I was in nursing school, I created a care plan for myself. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna beat this. You know, if these people don't wanna help me, I'm gonna help myself. So I went on ahead and every morning, I got um, my vitamin C, I got my um, echinacea, I got my elderberry, which is basically zinc. Um, I got my probiotics for my stomach because I was having, you know, some stomach symptoms and stuff like that. And I would take my vitamins. And then um, what I would do was two times a day, I would do my tea. I would mix my tea with my green tea. And I also had some peppermint tea. And I would do that, put some honey in it and put some lemons in it. And I would do that. It would help soothe my throat. And throughout the day, you know, I would do like some um, throat lozenges and stuff like that. I would do my um, my soup 
and stuff like that. Um, I actually utilized YouTube. I went into these YouTube streets and I was like, okay, well, you know, I want to make sure that this doesn't get to my lungs. You know, I don't want to get um, pneumonia or anything like that because I was feeling the chest pressure. I was coughing up phlegm and I was just like, oh my goodness. So basically what I did was I went to different websites and I went to like some respiratory therapist websites and um, I would do like the chest physiotherapy where I uh, do a deep breath. and then cough. So I'll do a deep breath, hold five seconds and cough. I do that like five to 10 times. Um, I would get up and I would walk around because you know, you don't wanna just stay seated because when you are just sitting in the bed, laying in the bed, you know, your secretions are just developing in your lungs. If you're not coughing, if you're not turning, all that stuff can just sit in the lungs, turn into bacteria, then you can get pneumonia. So I was coughing, deep breathing, I maintain my hydration. I drank a lot of water. I drank a lot of Powerade, a lot of Gatorade. Um, I will also do Mucinex. I did the cough syrup when I did the Mucinex and I did a lot of the water. It would liquefy the secretions. So I would be able to cough up the phlegm and stuff like that. Um, I did the Vicks Vapor Rub on my chest. So that would kind of help you know, open up my um, my sinuses and my passages. I did do this thing where it's kind of like a Vicks bomb, where basically you put, well, it's a Vicks pellet. You put it in the shower, you turn the shower on and the water hits it and it like vaporizes and you know, all that goes into your sinuses and it opens it up. Um, <clears throat> I also did where basically I saw this on YouTube again, uh, you know me and my YouTube. I fool with my YouTube. I fool with my YouTube. <laughs> but um, well, I will boil the hot water. I will put um some salt in it, um, some Himalayan pink salt, and I put some orange peels in it. And I would let that mist, um, and those um, for lack of better words, fumes, come up and you know get into my sinuses, clear my passages, and stuff like that. Um. I mean, all those things help tremendously. You know, there were times when I didn't want to eat, but I always told myself like, you know, you have to eat, you have to get your strength, you have to get your energy. So if my, cause my throat was on fire, but you know, I would make sure I do my soups, I do noodles, I was always hydrating. I always had something, well, I was putting some kind of calories into me. You know, during this time, you know, I was I was feeling down, you know, while you when you do have it, you know, you're thinking like you'll see all this stuff on the news, like all the people that didn't make it, unfortunately, you know, you're hearing about the economy, you're hearing about, you know, uh, are they going to open up the schools? Are we going to go back in quarantine? So it was so much on top of also being sick and you're hearing about all the different things that different people have and oh, what stuff can happen in the future and you know, it's just like, oh, so I really started feeling really sad and really depressed. So I was just like, you know what? I have to do something. I have to get out this funk because not only do I have to be right physically I, to get out of this, I have to be right mentally and emotionally. So, you know, I was prayed. I was always in prayer um, and stuff like that. I said my um, positive affirmations, you know, you are a victor. You're not a victim. You're the head, you're not the tail. You know, you're gonna come through this. You're strong. And so those things help me as well as just the outpouring of love from the people who I did tell about it. I mean, they will call me. I have friends that will call me, that will text me, that would send me things. I mean, I have friends that were uh, sending me stuff from Amazon. One of my friends, I have to give her a shout out. She sent me blood pressure cuff a uh, pulse ox, uh, halls, Vicks, um, air vaporizer, oils. I mean, she did the works. Like I had another friend, she was just like, girl, what's your cash app? Another friend, girl, what's your cash app? Another friend, what's your cash app? Like, really? Like you're not working. We want to help you out. You know, we want to get you right. You know, um, you know, people just trying to send care packages. I mean, in the, and it's not even, 
giving me something because I don't even, I, I never ask for anything. You know, I accept it. I appreciate it, but I don't want to come off like, you know, a burden or anything. So I'm just like, y'all don't have to do that. Uh, uh, uh. But I mean, just the thought of, you know, people just texting me saying, I hope you're okay. I hope you're all right. How are you feeling? That helped boost my mood. That helped boost me into like, okay, I'm going to get right. Like they're pushing me like, girl, you got to do this. You got to get up. You got to do this. You got to do that. Get yourself right. And I mean, that really propelled and helped me. And I mean, I like am so indebted to them because I'm just like, now you really see who your true friends are, the people who are down for you because it's not, oh, we're going to be here in the good times and, you know, be here when everything is pretty and squeaky clean. We're going to be here when you're down, when you're out, when we need to pick you up and hold you up and make sure you're good. So I really appreciate that. Like I, I truly, truly do. So that definitely helped me as well. <clears throat> so, I mean, those were some of the things that, you know, I did um, during my COVID experience, you know, just making sure that I was hydrated, that I was eating right, that I put those, consumed those vitamins. You know, I did do my, um, um, also fruit and stuff like that and vegetables that helped me um, starting to do like stretches, chest physiotherapy and stuff like that. That helped out um, <clears throat> as well as a lot of rest and stuff like that. And just also just, you know, mental rest and things like that, staying positive and, um, you know, just kind of like making sure you have your mental clarity so you can focus on getting better, you know, getting your strength and maintaining your strength. So that's, that's basically it. You know, I mean, this experience has just taught me that, you know, sometimes uh, things happen in life you know you have to go through tests you have to go through things that you feel like you will never go through but there's always light at the end of, of the tunnel you can always get over to the other side you know um people think oh, okay well everything like you control things like okay well you know I don't go to nursing, you know, I, I just finished my degree. I'm about to take my test. Then I'm about to get this job. Then I'm about to do this. Mm -mm. No, things did not go like that's laughable. You cannot always order your steps. You know, you can have goals and want to hit these goals, but there are so many things in life that'll come curveball and knock you down. But it's during those tough times that you find out who you are, that you see what you're what strength you can really muster up, you know? So I'm like really, I'm really grateful for everything. I'm appreciative for health. I'm so humbled. I'm really, really happy. You know, things aren't where I want them to be, but they are going in that direction because I have that strength, I have that faith and I have, and I believe. So I am a COVID survivor. I am a conqueror. And I just wanted to share my story with you guys to give somebody some hope. If somebody's going through the same thing, they can watch this video and maybe do some of the things I did. If they are down and out during this time, you know, they can do some of the things that I did to get out of it. And just, I appreciate, you know, you guys for watching, um, supporting, um, you know, just even through the screen, you know, I'm getting so, I get so much love from like my YouTube family. You know, a lot of you didn't even know what was going on, but you all were still, you know, cause I did make a video like last week. And I was sick when I did the video, but I made the video. And, you know, still, you know, just showing a lot of love through the screen. So I really appreciate that. Um, I would just like to say, please like, subscribe, watch the whole video, <laughs> and share, okay? Thank you, guys. I love y'all. Stay positive. And until next time.